Hi students, welcome you all for today's discussion on principles of management. The second model principles of management. In this model, generally we discuss about Henry Fayol's principles and F. W. Taylor's principles. Before going to the 14 general principles and 5 scientific principles, let us come to know about Henry Fayol and F. W. Taylor. Henry Fayol, he was a mining engineer, means French coal mining engineer, that he worked as managing director for several years. Based on his experiences, observations and his practices in a coal mining company, he has developed 14 general principles. Hence, Henry Fayol called as father of general management. Even he wrote a book also with respect to the general principles of management. We apply Henry Fayol's principles to manage the day-to-day -day activities and resources of the organization in order to achieve goals and objectives. And the FW Taylor principles, scientific principles, very essential for day-to-day -day operations of the organization to increase productivity and efficiency in order to minimize time, cost and to reduce overlapping of work, to reduce unnecessary motions and activities in the organization, we need F.W. Taylor's principles. So here F.W. Taylor, about F.W. Taylor, he was American mechanical engineer. Based on his experiences, he has propounded five scientific principles. So one more question, both are very important. Who is called father of general management? Henry Fayol, father of general management. Another question, who propounded 14 general principles? Henry Fayol. Who contributed 14 general principles to the management? Henry Fayol. And who is the father of scientific management? F.W. Taylor. Who contributed five scientific principles to the management? F.W. Taylor. Very important questions. Let me go ahead with the first one. 14 general principles of management are 14 Henry Fayol principles. The first one is initiative, principle of initiative. Without fail, you should write principle because we are discussing 14 principles. Principle of initiative, principle of scalar chain, principle of e spirit decops, principle of equity, principle of division of work, principle of authority and responsibility, principle of discipline. Next, principle of unity of command, principle of unity of direction, principle of subordination of individual interest to general interest. Here, general means organizational. Principle of order, principle of centralization and decentralization, principle of stability of people or worker or employee. Next, principle of remuneration. 14 general principles. Highly essential, highly important and deliberate principles to the management. Why? Because for smooth working environment. I mean to maintain smooth working environment, peaceful working environment, to maintain good IR, industrial relationship, to maintain good cooperation between the management and workers. These 14 principles are very important. For the mental revolution of employees and employer, to influence the behavior of management and employees in the organization, these 14 principles are highly essential and highly important. Let's go towards F.W. Taylor's principles, means the scientific principles. There are five scientific principles. First one is science not a rule of thumb, harmony not discard, cooperation not individualism, development of each and every person to their greatest efficiency or highest efficiency. Last one, optimum production means maximum production and productivity. So these are five scientific principles. Dear students, these five scientific principles, I mean F.W. Taylor principles, very important question for FOMAC. You get this question under section C. 
and henry fayol principles very important question for phi mark this is practical oriented question the practical oriented question from the second model henry fayol principles very important question this is practical oriented question you may get this question under section e both are very important in the viewpoint of knowledge in the viewpoint of examination do remember both are very essential fwo taylor principles and entry for all principles entry for all principles 14 fwo taylor principles 5 next class we go in detail discussions on entry for all principles and fwo taylor's principles thank you students thanks for watching do share subscribe and comment